spirit a king. You are our beloved sons and daughters, nieces and nephews, our close friends and relatives. You are our students. You have been a source of pride, joy, and encouragement to those who gather here. It is still unbelievable that we are gathered here to bid you goodbye. Yet, we find peace in our firm belief that you have found rest and peace in the arms of your maker. We find strength in our communion here today, all those that knew and loved you dearly. We bid you goodbye today, but know that when our time comes, we will also travel the journey you have traveled. To the families and friends of the departed dear ones, allow me to once again express our heartfelt condolences for your loss. You are humbled by your acceptance to join KU community so that together we can lift each other as we navigate through this unimaginable sorrow. As a university, we pledge to stand with you as you make plans to lay your daughter or sons to rest. I wish to assure you that the university has put in place plans to assist you bear the financial cost of this tragedy that has come this far. Ladies and gentlemen, let us not forget the survivors of this tragedy, some of whom are with us today. There are also those who sustain serious and life-changing injuries who are recuperating in Avenue Hospital in Nairobi. We acknowledge that you went through a very traumatic experience and pledge our continued support for you. Others sustain minor injuries and we are thankful to God for this. Kenyatta University Wellness Center will continue to provide the psychological support you need in your journey to recovery. In addition, the university management has set up a committee to mobilize support from well-wishers to help settle the hospital bills accruing from this tragedy. I wish to urge our alumni and other well-wishers to help us stand with the survivors of this tragedy as some of them will require long-term medical support. I want also to say we are going to reach out on all our partners, all our well-wishers, to see how we can at least raise some funds in order to um, support those students, particularly those who are still recuperating. I can tell you um, 14 of them are still recuperating. The injuries were serious. It means uh, broken bones, and therefore it is very expensive. We are going to announce the strategies that we are going to make to make sure that we assist. So after this, we are going to go uh, online. We have um, the online facilities 
that we are going to use and uh, we will announce that but we are also as I have said going to reach out for all those who have been working with us our partners to see how we can do that we are also your excellency saying we will reach out to the government to assist in terms of how to handle the financial aspect. I want also to say that uh, there are few who are actually misgranted. They think perhaps KU has not uh, good enough in terms of handling this. But I appeal to everybody who is here to know that uh, KU has done and is going to continue doing our best. These have been our students. We value them. And any, anything that you feel probably we should have done better needs to come after. Right now, we should try to just focus on how to actually heal, how to deal with the problem that we have. I wish to give a special mention to our resilience student body, led by their chairman. Our dear students, you have shown deep love for the departed comrades and support for the survivors. Your huge turnout during the candle lighting and viewing ceremonies, as well as when called upon to donate blood, are uh, a testimony to the strong bond of comradeship among you. You have honored the departed comrades with decorum and dignity. I urge you to continue to lean on each other for support. In the face of tragedy, we are reminded of the power of the community and the importance of coming together to support those in need. Together, we can find strength to honor the memories of our departed friends and support one another through this grieving process. Therefore, as we continue to navigate through this difficult time, let us not overlook the importance of being there for one another. Together, we must ensure that no one feel alone in their grief and that help is readily available for those who need it. In moments like this, we are touched by the selflessness of the first responders. We extend our deep gratitude to the police officers who swiftly acted to protect and assist those affected by this tragedy. Additionally, we commend the dedicated healthcare professionals at Voy County Referral Hospital and Avenue Hospital for their tireless efforts in providing professional and compassionate care to the injured. We must also recognize the invaluable support of AMREF and the, Red, the Kenya Red Cross Society of Kenya when called upon, AMREF responded swiftly and they lifted the critically injured to Nairobi for specialized treatment at no cost. The medical staff from uh, AMREF and Keja Red Cross provided vital medical attention when everybody um, every second really mattered. 
the action of all the medical professionals have undoubtedly saved life, particularly the airlift made sure that we did not continue losing our students before they go to the hospital. Let us not forget the crucial role played by the staff at the KU Chaplaincy and Directorate of Student Affairs. They have tirelessly offered spiritual guidance, solace, and uh, counseling to those in need. Their presence and wants of comfort have been a source of strength for many during this trying time. I also wish to thank the mainstream media for their responsible, unrestrained reporting about the incident. Finally, Your Excellency, I wish to give a word of caution to the grieving families, as well as the families whose sons and daughters are still in hospital. There are, of course, heartless and shameless individuals who are going around claiming to represent the government agencies. These individuals are aggressively seeking your personal details, promising to help you process the compensation. Do not fall prey to their trickery. In the wake of this tragedy, the university will follow all the processes laid out by the law and keep you well informed. For now, stay focused on dealing with the aftermath of the tragedy. In conclusion, Your Excellency, let us continue to honor the memories of our beloved daughters and sons, friends and classmates through acts of kindness, compassionate. Let us mourn them deeply, but still keep moving forward. Let us find strength in each other as we strive to heal. Let us be a 